Hello everyone. So this time I decided to do a sit down and talk with me and ask me questions vlog um, video. Actually, it's not even a vlog. I have not done a vlog for the longest time ever since I came back from my hometown. The reason is because I have no idea where else to where else to go and what else to do here in Singapore. I just kind of not being unappreciative, but I am kind of bored of this place. <laughs> So, sit back and relax while I answer some of the questions that I ask in Instagram. So I have the questions in my iPad. So the first question will be, what is your diet or meal plan? But to be honest, I gain weight super fast. It depends on what do I eat. And at one point, I did not care about what I eat at all. Then I gained quite a bit of weight, which is quite obvious. And then I got and somehow I just got inspired by uh, the vlogs that I watch especially by Ashley, Ashley Choi, Dasha and John Day <laughs> this girl, they're like my queens <laughs> they work out and they have very toned and nice body and I just thought that okay maybe it's time for me to have that kind of body too because I'm getting old okay <laughs> And if it's not now, then when? Okay, so for my diet was that I will... I don't, I don't really say... I, I can't really say that as a diet now. So usually for me is that because I wake up quite late, so I usually don't eat breakfast. And then I will only eat one meal per day, which I know is bad. But that is just how my tummy is accustomed to. Uh, I eat one meal per day, which is lunch time, and then for dinner, if I am hungry, then I will eat. I will stop myself from eating. But if I'm not hungry, then I will get like a um, tasu pao and a small red bean bun. Yeah, so that's my <laughs> diet plan, and I will try. I will try to only eat sweet uh, once or twice per week. Per week, okay, per week, because I realize that sweet make me gain weight fast. Also, uh, milk. So whenever I order drink, like coffee, I will ask for no sugar and uh, a bit of milk, just a bit. All right, second question will be biggest insecurity and what are you proud about yourself in terms of look? Uh, first thing, biggest insecurity will be my nose. I think that I don't have quite I don't have that, you know, the sharp Korean nose. <laughs> it's not that I don't really like my nose, it's just that sometimes I feel that when I, especially when I smile, my nose will get bigger. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But then I realized that I do have my mom's and my dad's nose. It's like a combination of both of them. You know that's the song in TikTok currently. I'm carrying your love with me. And I'm literally carrying my parents' love. My nose. <laughs> what are you proud about yourself? Like which part of my face or look? Um, oh, I guess my my chin. <laughs> it's weird to say that, but I think that I do have a, like a bit of V-shaped chin which I am quite glad that I do have because at least it makes it doesn't make my nose look bigger <laughs> at least there's something sharp about my face alright the third question will be are you planning on getting married? now that I'm hitting 30 next year I have been thinking a lot about marriage and kids actually to be honest to be completely transparent here I guess I do plan to get married but it might be in another like, five years perhaps so the next question will be solo travel or group travel I have done both in a way okay, let me just give you pros and cons for both right so for, so for solo traveling the pros is that you get to go wherever you want whenever you want like in split second oh if, if, if you think that I want to go there, let's check out this very suspicious looking alley and nobody's going to stop you, <laughs> right? But the con is that whenever you're excited about something that you see, you can't, you don't have someone to tell, like to talk to, to share that experience with. So it's basically just you uh, mentally like talking with yourself. But if you're okay with that, then it, that's fine. But it's just that sometimes it's it's good to have someone there to express 
and experience things together. And for group travel, the cons is that, yeah, like I've said, it's good to have someone to talk to. And then, I guess, oh, you get to share things, especially food. So you get to order many kinds of food and you just share. Because if you travel alone, you can't finish it all by yourself, right? And it will be a waste and more expensive. The cons for group travel is that it is quite restrictive, I say, which me pers personally, I don't really like it. Um, you need to constantly think about what, how, what, and how other people think or feel, and <laughs> it's just not really my thing. Because <laughs> I'm the type that likes to just, if I want to do this, I want to do this. So, and if I don't get to do it, then I'll be very upset. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that's me. Next question will be dating anyone special. I d I can't say that I'm dating someone now let me just explain what dating is to me so dating to me is that you are together together with that person like boyfriend girlfriend like both of you have uh, discussed about it that you want to get together then yeah so that that is dating to me so no i definitely not someone's girlfriend <laughs> yeah definitely not our right, next question will be what was your experience like moving out for the first time? Uh, so for me, the first time that I move out is definitely when I moved to Singapore. I have to do everything on my own. And it's a country where I don't really have much friends or family to help me with. So basically when I moved here, it was just me. I had to figure out all the little things on my own, which is quite, to me, it's exciting. I actually love it. But I think it's more of my survival instinct. It just suddenly powered up, right? And I was not scared. A bit of ner a bit of anxiety and nervous, but I was definitely not scared. All I was thinking about is what's next. So my experience was that I think that it is definitely something that I suggest everyone to go through. It is very mind opening and the most important thing is that you get to know who you are as a person just you because uh, most because most of the time for the first few months you will be alone well it depends on where you are moving out to obviously of course <laughs> yeah so most of the time you'll be alone and you get to interact with new people so at the same time you get to understand yourself a lot better so that is really something that helps me to grow as a person which i think is very important to define ourselves so yeah my experience was great i actually loved it <laughs> i enjoyed it so much okay second last question where does lesson you learn after you start living alone so basically my answer will be quite similar to my previous previous one for the previous question i have learned how to be comfortable with myself and I'm completely okay with that like I have no complaints about being alone living alone in fact I have started to feel hard to accept people in <laughs> and that is actually a cons I guess yeah be comfortable with myself okay the last question I saved this for the last because it's quite hard uh, when was the last time you did something for the first time so it actually took me a while to think about this but the last time I did, did something for the first time is to actually removing myself in a very uncomfortable position and don't really care about it because to be honest sometimes I used to think about I guess I, I care too much about how other people feel on my action towards my action but now I was, I'm like I don't care if I'm uncomfortable I'm just going to leave or I'm going to cut short, cut our conversation short and just leave. So yeah, that's definitely the first time and it was like a couple of months ago. So I think that I'm definitely done with pleasing and entertaining people when I feel like I'm forced to. So yeah, I guess that's a good change for me. <laughs> so that's all for today's uh, Q&A my card is really full and it's hard for me to film more so thank you for all the questions you know who you are and i'll see you next time bye, -bye. <laughs>